What's up everybody, it's Epsomo Chibi Wolf here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct June 2024 and why it was wonderful. Now, let me say this, long story short, just to save some time, I'm going to be, I nitpick, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be reacting to the whole one hour plus live stream and stuff like that. Did that before, it was not worth it. So I just cut down the trills that I haven't watched, and yeah, I'm going to talk about them, do tell you all what I think about them. Uh, besides that, real fast, my most excited game is Mario Party. I love the last Mario Party Superstars. That one was so good. A lot of multiplayer. You got the mini games, the boards. I hope this one, Nintendo Lawns, and does not make the mistake of, um, you know, you remember the first Mario Party on Switch? Yeah, I didn't like that one. Superstars was a huge improvement. And here we are, Super Mario Party Jumbore. Jumbore. So yeah, let's let's hope the best for that. Next, we just mentioned too, you know, remake of the 3DS game. I've been I've been thinking, you know, I was like, you know what? If I see this game sealed on 3DS, I'll probably get it, you know. But eh, this and that, you know. But then, hey, I don't have to look at it. It's coming to Switch. I'm excited that I have all your. I mean, Luigi's Mansion one, two, and three, you know, because I plan to get this, of course. I got the third one for really cheap, half price one one holiday season, so that was interesting. Hopefully I find it again, you know, with this game. Metal Slug. Oh, man. No. Zelda. This is a new game. This has the art style of the remake of uh, A Link to the Past. No. A Link's Awakening art style. Yes. That's the remake that they did. So this has the same art style as that one, and I think this is a new game or remake. I'm not sure, but I'm excited. You know, this is going to be... A new Zelda game, a new adventure game. I'm excited. More new fun games on Switch. Hopefully Sony Lawns. But besides that, Metal Slug. I'm excited. A nice wanted gun shooter. Yo, this is great. Now, I will say this. You know, I do have... Um, What was Metal Slug? You know, I enjoy the Metal Slug games. I'm going to be interested in seeing how this goes. You know, so with all that being that, let's get into this. So here we are, Metal Slug Attack Reloaded on the Nintendo Switch. Had to. Hmm. Little thing went on there. But, yeah, here we go. Um, here, nah, I'll just let it play till this part. This part as much as I can. So, from what I've seen so far, <laughs> because I had to restart it, it's, it's not like Metal Slug. Metal Slug? It's um more of like a, what was it? Not tone based combat, more of like a. Because Metal Slug to me, when someone says, Yo, I wanna play some Metal Slug, I'm thinking about you. We were gonna run around the map, shooting, guns blazing, having fun. This is more of like a. I believe they call it, correct me if I'm wrong, but tactical RPG. Something like that. Because. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Interesting. You know, nice. Um, yeah, you see, it's more of like that type. Like, I was thinking, you know, like I said, we running around a desert, we running around, you know, a city, we going to be guns running, shooting, having fun, crazy things going on, buildings collapsing, you know, metal slug, basically, you know, but this is more of like, um, I believe that's what they call it. But yeah, long story short, not my thing. I'll give this one a little bit of a skip. But let's hope SNK gives us a all-out metal slug. We're running around online multiplayer, shooting enemies. You know, classic metal slug. But for the modern days, overall, not my thing. But still looks great. After that, I'm going to just take a little break from the actual game and see what Nintendo has in store for the online expansion pack More stuff. classic titles are on the way. Oh, you see, this is interesting. Play What's Link's classic 16-bit nice. adventure and team up online to explore really randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda. Why don't, Link to the why don't they remake this one? Like have a four-player, you know, uh, The Legend of Zelda game. Maybe make a new one, not even a remake. Just make a new one. You know, four player Legend of Zelda game, online multiplayer, you and your friends go and, you know, see dungeons, attack monsters, go all out. 
you know, that's what I want to see. Past four that, that would be really cool, you know? That would be really cool. Experience Zero the mission. remake of Samus's first adventure in Metroid Zero Mission. Hmm. Nice. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus collection of games. Hmm. Oh, that game. Brave the dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok Dinosaur Hunter. That was, you know, this is interesting. I'll and give that one a try. Me, I was never like hugely interested in it i just want you know there's some games that i always look at like this this is another perfect game perfect dot you know i look at it and i'm like you know i want to play it but i don't want to buy it you know what i mean infiltrate a corporation yeah, golden eye man that's alien that's conspiracy the one in that i enjoy on 64. now with online multiplayer that's interesting nice all four games will be available for nintendo switch online plus expansion pack members later today interesting really good you know nice little short video overall i would say this is interesting really good ah uh, here we are ladies and gentlemen metroid prime 4 beyond the thing the game that we've been waiting for you know this is like the nintendo switch's holy grail you know of waiting so yeah <laughs> nintendo you better just make like the coolest trailer so far like give it your all because we've been waiting since it's the you know, nintendo switches launch launch same as aaron looking amazing wonderful the classic nice song i hope they do two and three also, what they should have done is a, a trilogy remake, not just the first game. Because, you know, I haven't played none of these games. You know what I mean? I played the other Metroid games a lot. You know what I mean? So, the Prime games. Now, I did play the first one, the remake. Remastered of the first one. And the stores. Like, they have, like, these long plays in yeah. But, man. I hope they can, you know. Just cover all the metric time games. Yo, this one. Yeah, man. Yo, this one is cool. I am enjoying it. Look at that. That's it. No, 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 show more, show more. Oh. Yeah, okay, wait a minute. Is that it? Oh. oh, oh. Real quick, let me see that, yo. Yeah, this is probably, you know, the main villain. Dude, yeah, yo. Something's about to go down. Amazing. Hmm. Oh, next year. Damn, man, why could you do holiday of this year? Okay. You know what? No issue delaying the game. You know, they're going to perfect their work. Really cool. And look, they have a little, you know, fairy or something there but overall what i think i think this was amazing i i loved it you know it's interesting looks fun so yeah here we are with luigi's mansion 2 hd now i'm excited for this one because like i said it was a 3ds Ready for game. an adventure of ghoulish proportions oh. summon your courage and explore multiple mansions <laughs> nice. filled with goofy ghosts Real quick, I heard like this is the weakest one in the entry. Now I'm not sure, but I'm just wanted to point that out. I think me, you know, a lot of times people say this game sucks, this and that, for many games, and then I find out, wait a minute, this game everyone's praising kind of fucking sucks. But then I'm like, yo, this game over here that a lot of people say is okay. Yo, this is better than the other games released these days. So, in my opinion, traps. 
I have time to supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD <laughs> launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now yes. on Nintendo eShop. Oh, does it? So yeah, you know. Trap. Luigi's, Luigi's chilling, he's in his mansion. But then in the end, kill this dude, he's over here being the poor boy, you know, the Master Roshi action, you know, <laughs> how, how are you going to be a ghost and not go through a wall? But overall, I think that was wonderful. Here we are with Donkey Kong Country with Tunes HD. Now, I enjoy Donkey Kong Country games, you know, Super Nintendo, perfect. And I'm excited for this one. I believe this was a Wii game. Yeah, this was a Wii game. I remember the trailer, how it started back then. Never got it though. Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The villain. This better be half priced. This Tiki Tap tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife <laughs> and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana horse. <laughs> Obstacles in the way, you know, they make like don't get me wrong, this is wonderful having you know, re games and other stuff. But how about have like we make some GameCube games and other games, you know, you blow titles on here, like maybe Outbound Collection, you know what I mean? Just stop them, pound them, and roll on through. Each level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match for these <laughs> top bananas. Nintendo finally ran out of Wii U ports. Yeah, this is great. From manic minecarts to high flying rocket barrels. Yeah, you know, this cool, yo. This is what we need, you and know, more creativity. On Rambi. I hope we get a new Donkey Kong game. Though. Plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy Con controller to a buddy for two player local co op. Nice. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Yo, that's cool. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD Next year. swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. Really wonderful. You see, the year's going to start wonderful next year. I'm excited for this one. This one looks like it's going to be really great, you know. Because, you know, but another thing is, you know, Nintendo's not using Donkey Kong that much, like, for new games. So, I might be at least they're going to be giving us remakes of other games from that most of us probably missed out on, maybe. But I, I definitely missed out on this one back in its initial release on the Wii. So, yeah, it looks, looks great, looks wonderful. Um, I do hope that Nintendo makes new games in the Donkey Kong series, though. And that just relies on, you know, the older games to HD everything, you know? So, yeah. Here we are with the next one. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Nice. A lot of... Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Oh, they got the class again in there. Cool. You know, sometimes, you know, a lot of times, for example, um, they just do the actual, try to modernize it, a lot of companies. But I'm happy Nintendo, you know, tries to they modernize it, but they still try to keep the look of it. And I've noticed a lot of times with remakes of other companies when they do it, they change everything completely. So I'm happy Nintendo at least keeps that, you know? Oh. Princess Zelda getting her own game. Best Gale. Like we're going on an adventure? Really? Yo, well, Peach had one, so you know, why not Zelda? I'll be honest, you know, like when it when it comes down to when I first heard of Peach's, you know, adventures throughout the world, I was like, okay, this is interesting and cool. And don't get me wrong, I think you know when I see Zelda's, I'm like, yo, this is going to be, this is going to be something else. You know, this is going to be some crazy 
crazy Final Fantasy related stuff. I mean, she's magic, you know. So imagine we're just Hello, going at it. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. <laughs> what you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. Nice. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? She got mad. Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past... Wait, let's, let's be real though. Princess Zelda is a magical girl, okay? So with the Sailor Moon and all of that. Legend of Zelda games so with a top down she doesn't need weapon. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now Damn. alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the Tri Rod at a so basically the Tri Force gave birth to Tri. Cable she found. Zelda now, learned how to create an imitation. Because it makes sense. Look, one, two, three, three of them on his tail. It, called an echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. Nice. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. Hopefully we get to create weapons. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. How well, you use them that's pretty cool. separately or together so she is goes entirely into up to you. Into the liquid and has it. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you hmm. discover. Interesting gameplay. Nice. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. Hmm? After doing so, they'll fight by your side. So basically, you possess them and they. Oh. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Hmm. Wisdom is key, after all. The final bass ball is gonna be crazy, man. Imagine recreating Ganon. <laughs> in a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. It's about time, damn. You know, first it was Peach. You know, she had a little adventure. Now I don't know that much about that one, but this one it seems like, yo, Princess Zelda's going to How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. Nice. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. What? How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the Echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. An Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Yo, Zelda series cool. will also be available at Why not release Joy-Cons for other people that have the first edition of the Nintendo Switch? Imagine Joy-Con, Golden Joy-Cons, Zelda edition. We hope you're looking forward now, that would to be playing cool. as Zelda in this new Or at least a pro controller, you know what I mean? I want a pro controller Zelda. Which Lite system inspired by the Because this doesn't make sense, Nintendo. Nintendo does not make any sense. Who the hell, if you're going to have, say if you have two, right, a light and a one to keep at home. Me, I have, I only have the launch one, one, right. Why would I want to buy another one? Just, you know what I mean? Like, how about the actual control, the pro controls? Those, I, Legend you know, is more understandable. Like, okay, a lot of people, they have siblings, they have friends, cousins, etc. You know, they're going to buy pro controls to feel more comfortable. Why an entire console? Don't get me wrong, it's cool, but it gives something for us In short, too. 
We have the console already. I want a controller that's Zelda themed, Mario themed, Metroid themed. I'd buy that. But um, besides that, it does look cool. It's wonderful Nintendo. So we hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Yeah, pretty cool. Overall, I would give that one a great. Okay, here we are, yo. We saw the Legend of Zelda, Princess Zelda, you know, game that's coming up. Here we are, Super Mario, Jumbo Ray. Oh man, I'm excited. Yo, I love Mario Party games. Super Stars got me hyped and excited, so let's see. So there you are, welcome to available. Hopefully DLC starts to come out with this one one year after to keep it alive and not just drop dead like you know how Super Stars was. That had potential. The latest game in the Mario Party series yeah. takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party mini games yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. This has the same as the first Mario Party on Switch, so I'm worried because like I said that one's mm. Well, Superstars is beautiful. So hopefully they learned. First, let's see some of the new yo. cards where you'll compete to collect yo. the most Yo, wait a minute. Yo, that looks amazing. Look at that. All that class. Let's this see is some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Nice. Take the escalators to Wait, oh, I was about to say they have a hub world. Imagine them having a hub world where you and other people online could just go around, meet, maybe play, voice each other in mini games. You know what I mean? Just like, uh, you know, having Tekken 8, you know, they have like, you know, or any friend game modernized. You know, you walk around in hub world, you meet someone, you fight them. Imagine that, but voicing them in mini games. Travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Amazing. Use in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. What? Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. I one of my hopes that I would love is DLC characters, mini games, and boards. So I hope you know how like Mario Kart, you know, it looks as you know you have a uh, Animal Crossing, you know you have Link. I hope. This game allows other Nintendo characters to be a part of the party. I want I want Link in Mario with Party. Turbo Dice and Princess Zelda. You can move up and to Mitch. 40 spaces Same. with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Hmm. Along with five new game boards. Nice. Yo, this one looks crazy. Oh man, I hope this one is like, you, you know, in a classic Mario Party when, you know, basically it's the hardest one. You know, it has like dead traps and all of that. Two boards from stuff. previous Mario Party games make their return. I'm more excited for this one. I love the second one. Some mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. Nice. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your oh, Joy-Con controllers. No. Please tell me there's an option to disable motion control mini games. Nintendo, you have come on, you have to do that. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety mm, to enjoy. Not everything's going to be the best. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online. That's what I love. In the Coupathlon mode. <laughs> nice, yeah. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Yo. Try your best to come out on top. Okay. Wait, there are even Amazing. more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. Yo, this is great. This is coming to see it too. Yo, I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. Super Mario Party Jamboree. Man, I think this is going to be amazing. Now, I I love Super Stars, right? Hopefully this one has even more things that just makes it even just more incredible. I hope that, you know, when if they do do DLC and stuff, because... Superstars didn't do DLC. I hope they add even more classic retro boards. Maybe add even more new boards. Yeah, I think this is going to be amazing. 
So after watching the Nintendo Direct June 2024, I think this was wonderful. You know, we have many things for everyone. You know, we have party games, we have adventure games, you know, we have horror games, you know, just one and gun shooting. Overall, you know, I think this was a wonderful Direct. You know, I think it's a wonderful Direct when, you know, you have more than just, a few, you know, two games to look forward to. You know, unless they're like two really amazing games, you know what I mean? But I would say, you know, this one, you know, I, I was like, although I'm not into everything, you know, the things that I did not talk about is the things, you know, that I kind of was like, okay, I'm not into that stuff. But, dude, this was a, enough to make me be like, this was wonderful. So, overall, let me know what you think, you know, what games that, I, you know, did you see in the dive that you're looking forward to, which ones have you know, maybe you want to do just these games like I am. Let me know all in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.